Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with the new 2019 state of the AFC East. Who's up? It's the J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. Yes, indeed, it's the Jets. I would have made this video sooner, but I wasn't able to. But goodness, thank goodness I didn't do it because some news just broke. So, the Jets make all these moves, bring in rookies, draft this, and bring in free agents just to get rid of their GM. McCagnan is gone. Who do they replace? They don't go and get somebody, you know what I'm saying, and give them time. No, they replace him with the head coach that got fired from the Dolphins in Adam Gates. And now he's your GM making all the decisions? I don't know about that. Go ask some Dolphins fans how they felt about Adam Gates making decisions. Gesecki, inline blocker. He runs a 4-5. Send that man down deep. Nope. I want him blocking. All right, cool. Kenyon Drake, one of the better young running backs in this league that can play. I like him a lot. But they give him the ball six to eight times. I know. Frank Gore was there. I get it. But you give one of the better running backs in the league six to eight. You can't do that. Ladies and gentlemen, those, that's the Jets head coach, Adam Gates. But he made some good decisions. He brought in Greg Williams, which is a respected defensive head coach. Was interim. But now he's the defensive coordinator for the Jets. Aggressive mind. Was a little bit in hot water for doing that whole bounty gate. Go knock that man's block off and I get you $50,000. I don't know how he was doing it, but he had them boys motivated and decapitate dudes on that field. Yeah, I can't do that, Mr. Williams. This is the new NFL. A little soft. You know what I'm saying? You got to play a little different. But lo and behold, let's dig a little deeper to find out what these 2019 Jets are bringing to the AFC East. Let's go like this. Free agency. CJ Mosley. Linebacker. Solid. A very big key cog that's going to be leading this defense. Along with Williamson. Along with another rookie that I'm going to speak on in just a little bit. But that defense is going to be solid. Then they bring in one of the best backs, if not the best running back in the league, and Le'Veon Bell. Blocks, he runs, he catches, he does it all. And he's got no wear and tear. He's been off the, for the better of two years. So he is not only motivated, but he's ready to go. But, and apparently he's playing for the for his favorite team. Bullshit. I don't, I don't believe it. But it is what it is. You say what you got to say, they get their fans all hyped up. Right? So free agency goes down, they make some nice pickups, they pick up a guard from the Raiders in Kaleche Usemele. That strengthens, that strengthens the old line just a little bit. I'm not going to say it really revamped it. Y'all still got to redo that line. It's a little bit suspect, but we can keep moving. So Adam Gates goes and hits up the, the draft. They bring in, like if not the best player in the draft, in Quinnen Williams. One year wonder at Alabama, but that one year was dominant. So he comes in as the number three pick, and now we have to face him twice a year. I'm okay with that. We, we, we did what we had to do on that O-line for this very reason. They bring in Ja'Kai Polite from Florida, edge rusher. I really like that pick, solid pick. You guys are going to be a menace. So having Leonard Williams, Quinton Williams, and Ja'Kai Polite on the, on the line, ooh, I'm not going to lie, that's solid. That's impressive. But that O-line still is glaring. I don't care what anybody tells me. You didn't do anything about that O-line, though. Now, when you hit the draft, you got to hit guys that are going to be impactful, that's going to help you out in the long run. You do everything on the defensive side of the ball. I get it. But you neglected to really address the O-line. You brought in Odiga, which is fine. That'll be a nice tackle. So you got Beecham, you got Odiga, and you've got Osemele. It's a start, but it's still glaring neat. What else do you guys have on that defense? May, Adams, lock down your, your, your safeties. Tremaine Johnson, locking down that corner spot. So your defensive backfield is actually pretty solid. I'm not going to hate. Adams can play. You know what I'm saying? Him down in the box and come back out again, he can play. He, he might want to stay out of that spin cycle that LaShawn McCoy put him in last year, but that's just me. <laughs> but moving along, Sam Darnold will lead your offense, right? So the defense is good. 
I like it. You guys made some good moves. One underrated move that you guys made was bringing in Blake Cashman from Minnesota. He's an underrated player. He was trending towards a second, third round pick. Y'all got a good one. Y'all traded lead to the Chiefs. So Blake Cashman comes in and potentially replaces him. Good move. Now let's go to the offensive side of the ball. You lost two key players on your offensive side of the ball. Your kicker, Jason Myers, former Pro Bowler. And you lost Andre Roberts, former kick return, punt return Pro Bowler. Oh yeah, to the Bills. So now you lost two guys that affect you on special teams. I don't know if that was a smart move, Mr. Jets. But hey, that's just me. Sam Darnold, quarterback. Le'Veon Bell, running back. That's a good, that's a good tandem. Now, one guy I won't sleep on is Robbie Anderson. That boy can play. I'll give that to you. Robbie Anderson can play. Inside, outside, going deep. That's one guy that we have to keep an eye on. Quincy Inanwa. I like Quincy. Quincy can also play. And y'all picked up Jamison Crowder. So, that offense isn't looking so bad. You've made some improvements here and there. But that one glaring department is that O-line. Will that sustain long enough? Will you hold up? We all know that Donald likes to throw a lot of interceptions. My man threw, what, 15 to 18 interceptions last year? You got to bring that down. You got to bring that down because now we got film. We've got a whole year's film to watch and know what you like to do, and we'll take it away. You know how the build collectors do. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do you expect from the Jets? Did the Jets do enough to move the needle? Did they do enough to take the stop spot from the Patriots? Did they do enough to even challenge us for that second and first spot because you know we come for number one that's no question about it but right now we're talking about the jets are the jets going to be a threat defensively i think that is what's going to keep them in this league that's what's going to keep them in this game the season that defense but offense you got to put points on the board so we're about to find out with a team that ranked 23rd on offense last year you're going to have a lot of improvement to do but now you have Adam Gase, an offensive guru. So hopefully then he makes something happen for you Jets. But defensively, I think you guys improved. I, I like think this. that you guys will be good. I think you guys will be solid, with, especially with the new addition of defensive coordinator Greg Williams. But this team is a, it's a team that you got to pay attention to. They're not going to lay down. That is for damn sure. Yes, they lost their GM. Yes, I know. They lost their GM. But guess what? The Bills lost their GM, and we made the playoffs that very year. You just never know in this league, man. Any given Sunday. Is this Jets team a formidable team that will push the needle? Will they challenge? At the end of the day, I don't think they will. I just don't think they will. It's just too many things are going on right now. That locker room may be in disarray, and right now, they don't have the type of leadership that we have on these Bills. Adam Gase was not very good with the Dolphins. Made piss poor decisions. Not giving the ball to, to your best running back in Drake. Not letting your tight end that runs a 4-5 go down and make plays. Little things like that add up at the end of the day. Jets fans are going to feel it this year. So, <laughs> I won't feel any bad when we whoop that tail twice a year. I'll be good. So, ladies and gentlemen, state of the AFC East, that was the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Tell me what you guys think about it. I know a whole bunch of Jets fans are watching this. Did I hit it right? Am I wrong? Am I right? Am I hating? I thought I, pre I, thought I played it pretty fair. But we're going to find out. Y'all let me know. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like. And next up, maybe the Patriots. Maybe the Dolphins. I don't know, but we're going to find out. Until next time, it's your boy. And I'm gone.